What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is basically like a part two to a video I uploaded very early on in my channel. And that video was nailing John Mayer tone with a Fender Princeton, something like that. Wasn't a great video, but with the title, it got clicks and it got views. Classic. Uh, so this video is, I think, a better video, <laughs> but is achieving the John Mayer type tone using, in my opinion, one of the greatest amps of all time, or in the world currently, the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. I see a lot of the times in forums or on Instagram, what amps should I get? And people always list Deluxe Reaver, Princeton, sometimes the Tone Master, Soraya Tones, or some cheaper two rocks. But the reality is for maybe sub $600, you can get this behemoth of an amp, the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe 6L6 Spring Reverb, incredible clean tone, takes pedals incredibly well, whether it's TS10s, Tube Screamer variants, Marshall and Boxes, or Qtron, or Trimon Timeline, or Chorus, you name it. The Fender Hot Rod Deluxe takes it really, really well. Um, what it doesn't do is a great overdrive distortion channel. I think that's very well documented out there that a lot of people who get this amp get it for the clean tone and for the pedal platform. And since we're trying to achieve that classic clean John Mayer type tone, this amp does that in spades. So with all that being said, let's check out some tones. Well, all right. All plugged in, ready to go. Silver Sky into the pedal board, into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, into the Aux, into Luna, to you. We'll look at the clean tone, some tones with the TS10, Blue Hippo, maybe even some delay. Again, I want to emphasize this is not a one-to-one -one tone comparison, right? We're not playing Two Rock, Silver Sterling, Alessandro Cabs, or whatever. This is tones from your average Fender Hot Rod Deluxe to show you guys that this is an incredible amp that can achieve very, very close JM style tones, right? So without any further ado, let's get some tones. Here is Neck Pickup into the Clean Channel. Position four, neck and middle, obviously we have to do. Middle pickup. Nice. Position two, which is middle and bridge, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
right? Very classic Vulture's tone right there. And we do some chords on the bridge pickup. Right? So, five great tones and very distinguishable, all of them sounding like themselves through the clean platform of the Hot Rod Deluxe. So, now let's add up some pedals where we can, right? So, for example, a great tone of his is we can say like a new light type tone on the neck pickup. Right? The TS-10 sounds really, really great with this Harvard Deluxe because the Harvard Deluxe is lacking some mids and the TS-10 really pushed them out, right? So here it is again. Right. Another great TS10 example is, let's say, waiting in the world to change on position four. You can also do with the TS-10 some of the lead intro lines that John does on Slow Dancing with the Burning Room. For example... Right? 
right? So the TS10 works great, or any variation of a Tube Screamer type pedal works really, really well with the Hot Rod Deluxe. Now, if we go to like position two and do some more vultures, let's add in a quick delay with a Strymon timeline. Right? And then we'll add in the TS10. So that was some vulture type tone. Now, if we get into more current JM, like sob rock now, we can get very similar tones. Now, obviously chorus. <laughs> For example, we could do like a shot in the dark, right? Which I think was position four. Add in the chorus. Right? It gets very, very close to that Instagram or TikTok video that John posted a couple of weeks ago. So without chorus. Add in the chorus. sounds really really close now if we want to get more like a last train home type tone i'm gonna add a bit more depth to the chorus and then we can get something like this Right? If we add now a TS10, we can get very close to that tone we heard on Jimmy Kim or like Jimmy Fallon. <laughs>
right? So the Hot Rod Deluxe can take a lot of pedals, whether it's TS type pedal or a Marshall pedal or a Blues Breaker pedal or the Qtron, it can handle all that. As you heard today in this video, we got a great clean tone. Again, we're not trying to compete with a two rock or a dumble or whatever. We're aiming for the best possible clean tone that we can get with the amp that we have. And I think we got very close using the Hot Rod Deluxe into the Ox. The TS-10 worked magic. I mean, if you just do this and then add the TS-10, sounds like that Texas blues tone that John himself is also going for, right? The chorus gets really, really close to that shot in the dark type tone as well. If we raise the death back up. Right? The reverb does the splash that we all know and love on Slow Dancing with the Burning Room. If you added more reverb, it's more emphasized. Middle pickup, you get Helpless. So the Hot Rod Deluxe have all these tones in them. Now, with your fingers, some twisting of the knobs, your Silver Sky, your, your Fender Strat, or your Les Paul, or your 335, whatever guitar, you can get those exact same tones. So, in conclusion, <laughs> I hope this video has helped you realize that the Hot Rod Deluxe is capable of so much and getting so close to that JM tone that we all know and love. All right, guys, that's today's video showcasing how you can get a very similar clean tone to that of JM using the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Again, this video is not a one-to-one -one comparison to his tone, right? The Hot Rod Deluxe is not a two rock, nor is it a Dumble steel string singer, or a vintage Fender Vibe Reverb, Vibe Deluxe, Deluxe Reverb, whatever. It's a 40 watt, great clean amp from Fender that is very budget friendly, that you can get a great clean tone. And with some pedals, such as today, the Blue Hippo or the TS-10, you can get very, very close results to that of the John Mayer tone, sub $1,000 basically. So, that's today's video. If you'd enjoyed it, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.